Hey everybody, Arthur here with another unboxing video. Today we have a Legend series, Marvel Avengers from the Infinity War wave, but it's Marvel Avengers because it's a comic book figure, not from the MCU. And we have Marvel's Songbird, and this is the figure, the character that fan favorites everybody voted on to be made into a figure, and here she is in all her glory. And uh, this is from the California Raisin Build-A-Figure wave, and let's take a look at the packaging. You get the a from the Avengers on the top, you get uh, uh, yeah, that's garbage. I mean, it's, it's artwork on the side, but it looks like trash. No love went into it as much as like some of the other art on these figures from this wave. Then we get her in a vanilla pose. We get some a uh, little bit of information here. Let's get that on there. And we get everybody from the wave, which I've reviewed everybody except for Iron Spider, which I will be getting soon. Then you got the uh, California Raisin Thanos right there. And let's get Songbird out of the package and see if she was worth the vote. Songbird out of the package and looking pretty decent. And uh, for you Thunderbolt lovers, she's a must-have. And she does come with a Build-A-Figure piece. We get the Grape Bubblegum arm of Thanos. This right arm, in case you guys didn't know. And uh yeah, that's that's a build a figure piece. Then she comes with a big chunk of uh hard candy. And that is her wings or something of that nature. Just uh it's pretty awesome, honestly, as as much as I'm sort of joking around with it. Um it's it's a lot of plastic and uh, it looks all smooth on one side, um, which you can see through some of it. So it's some of that sculpt in. Actually, no, it's not smooth on once. It's all sculpted in right here. And then it's even, yeah. So, I mean, it's 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 impressive. Like, this is something. Why didn't we get this with the Dark Phoenix? Like, they, they obviously have the capabilities of making something cool like this, where they just say, waiting, if, waiting for her or... I wonder what Hasbro was thinking there, but has the plug, plugs right into her back, which I will do that later. Let's dive into the figure. Now, the face itself, it's good. I mean, it's it's a pretty clean face. Got some, uh, like a pinkish color lipstick, green eyes. The problem is with these female faces, they all start looking the same. I, I really feel like this is a face that we've already gotten before, just with different paint. It's like, like it's it's hard to tell because all their female faces are starting to look the same because they reuse stuff, and uh, the hair. I don't like how the I don't know if that's supposed to be pink or purple. I don't like how that turned out. It's not as bright as I would think, especially with their hair being like white throughout, which looks good. I just was hoping that they would give her more of like a brighter pink. Hair, but it can be fixed. I mean, that's something that you as a uh, collector, if you don't mind customizing your figures, I mean, you could easily paint over that with the brighter pink and make her look a lot better. She does uh, get some head articulation with all that hair. She can actually look down, I mean, that far, but her hair sort of pushes it back up. Looking up, she really can't because all this hair on the back prevents it. She can look left and right. Can't really get a... F eh, if you can force it, you probably go all the way around. Uh, and then she can tilt her head to give a little bit of attitude. This shoulder part it seems like a separate piece, but it stays in place very well. Um, it doesn't look bad, even though they use that macaroni gold plastic. It doesn't look horrible. On camera, it looks worse than what it looks like in person. Got that nice hot pink design right there looking great clean the paint on her seems pretty clean so far um arms with the shoulder pads because they are sort of floating you know you get the ability to lift her arm up all the way single jointed elbow which again i do not mind because of the fact that you don't get a bunch of pins and stuff um making taken away from this the actual figure itself and uh she can get some good rotation and of course you know with the shoulder pads they are going to prevent some but if you want to do the full rotate you can it just 
shifts the shoulder pads, making it look weird. So it can rotate. So you're not limited too much by this piece right here. It's a little bit of not the cleanest paint of, on the gauntlets here. And then we get her wrist bend and rotation. It's like seeing her hands like this, I'm just like straight away, I'm like, Namor? Speed Demon? It's just like, that's just what comes to my head with this type of hands. Then we get, uh, you know, her ab. She has that female ab crunch, but she actually can lean back. Ew. Look at that. Thought I'll be leading there, leaving, leaning her back that far, but she can lean back. Lean back. It's not the straightest. If you look, her sort of abs like splits in the middle. This is sort of off a little bit, but hey, it's not bad. Paint still looks good. Then you don't have to really worry about the back because there's no paint there. Then as you see, I was, I was messing around with her. She has this loose belt. I really don't think we needed it to be loose, um, but we could have glued it in place. And it would have been fine. Um, really clean. Circle sculpted in there and painted very clean as well. And the gold doesn't really bother me on this belt. She can only do this far as the splits. And as for a Spartan kick, she can do a crazy full-on <laughs> field goal kick. That's crazy. She can't really kick back because she got her badonk. So they gave her the badonk, all right, like full on. Whoever sculpted that enjoyed sculpting. But yeah, she can't really kick back because it hits the, the butt. Then you get her legs. Her legs are not bad. Paint on them is pretty good. Pretty clean for looking through like all this. A little extra black paint right there, but everything else is pretty impressive. Like I was actually expecting more paint issues with this figure than any other figure and there really isn't like besides that little spot and a little bit on the gauntlets i mean that's that's pretty impressive um she does have the thigh cut which is it's okay because this design doesn't go all the way up so she can get away with it double jointed knee ankle bend and pivots but overall i mean it's pretty good, pretty good figure. One thing I wish is, uh, I do have, look like I have a messed up gauntlet right there. That one doesn't have that part, but that's, that's minimal. Um, I wish she would have came with alternate hands. I just feel like the whole, hey guys, stop, just stop, just stop. Didn't. I'm gonna force push you. I don't. I just wish we had other hands. Maybe future Hasbro. They're gonna start selling <laughs> attachments and stuff. Uh, let's go ahead and pop this. The hair, you know, you can see sort of slides over the back of this. And then you plug it in. Let's go ahead and see how well she stands with this thing on there. Sort of plug it in there, and I feel like she's gonna be very. Yeah, she's very back heavy. And it's this part on the back sort of like can shift around, but I really think that you're gonna I don't know. The you have to position the bottom of this right here to really prop her up to really get her to pose with these uh wings, but when they're on and she's posed, I mean it looks great. I mean it's it's a, it's a great looking figure and she's gonna stand out on your shelf in your collection, even though she has that same face that a lot of the female figures they start pumping out do she overall is is a is a good figure not disappointing um a lot of people were passing her up because of certain issues and honestly nate simmons you know he picked this one out for me uh because he picked her up and he did a heck of a job finding one that had very very minimal pain issues and thank you nate if you're watching this man it's it's awesome i love this figure i love the effect piece that we got with it um, yeah, there's little things that could be tweaked on it, but overall it's a solid figure. Um, 
And that really sums up my unboxing review of Songbird. If you guys like what you saw, hit that thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new to my channel. If you haven't hit that bell notification, go ahead and do that. And as always, I want you to have the best luck hunting. Keep on collecting and have a beautiful day. Well, let's see how well she stands with it. Oh, I see. So it's like it's, it weighs her back, but it can be propped 